Hey everyone, Techni here with an incredibly late review. That is the Fanatic Dash, but let me give you a funny story as far as why I'm late on this review. First off, what they sent me was an empty box with nothing in it. So after that, we talked about it, they went off and sent another one. They thought I probably was just trying to get all sorts of mouse pads from there, right? But anyways, after that shipment, they sent me out another one. And then I received this, a yoga mat. Let me tell you what, Techni doesn't know anything about yoga. Like, I'm too high strung for yoga. I can't sit there that long. Like, I need to move my hands. Like, I don't even know what to do with yoga. And you know what? When I think of yoga, the only thing I want to do is eat yogurt. I don't know why. I guess just because they sound so similar. I don't know. But let me, let me just tell you something here. Whenever you eat your yogurt, you make sure you put granola in it, right? Honey granola. Mmm. It makes your yogurt so much better. Let me, let me just tell you. You're not... Mmm. Hot dog, man. Mmm, that is good. We're supposed to be reviewing a mouse pad here, right? Come on, who's running this show back there? Mm, it's only me. All right, so now that I've probably lost half of you out there, let's go on and get into the Fanatic Dash right here. As you can see, it comes in really nice packaging, chrome letters, but hey, I'm just glad we finally received one here. But anyways, we have the extra large one right here. Now, now I want to give you some of this wording on the back of the package. It's really catchy here. Precise, hyper-fast, F15 surface. Not too sure what that really means, but it sounds fast. I love F15s. Ultra tight micro knit stitch. Fantastic rhyme. Absolutely love it. Anti-slip grip and liquid resistant. I don't know where we really go with resistant, right? We want, you'd want proof if it to mean anything resistant. This isn't anything pretty much resistant. I don't know. Maybe we'll spill something on this and see how resistant it really is. And then carry case packaging. I don't know. This is a heck of a thing to carry, but you know what? Let's pop this guy open and take a look at it. All right, so straight out the box right here, let me tell you what, this guy has some good weight to it and it definitely flops down right there. I mean, and it holds its position. No slip whatsoever, as you can hear, it's moving my stinking table here. Nice rubber grip on the bottom and it has little grooves on it. And the stitching on the edge, it's so tight that that doesn't bulge out on the bottom if you catch my drift, so it kind of goes on the side right there. It's really tight and again, it holds it down across the entire pad. Now talking about that stitching being so stinking tight right here, as you can see, along the entire pad, around the whole deal right here, you can kind of see it missing spots and you get some of that rubber exposed right there. Is that just my copy? I'm not too sure. But again, you kind of see like, sure, it's tight stitching, but not much stitching, you know what I mean? So again, that, that's kind of a stinker right there, especially with how much this guy comes in at. But again, is that just my copy? Not too sure. Now, as far as the bottom right of the mouse pad right here, you have the Fanatic logo, and it's like this uh, chrome mirror look stuff. And I don't know what it is. Seems like it's a sticker or something. It's not printed into the pad. It's definitely a different texture out there. You can feel it's real slippery and everything. But again, when I tried to get down there and peel it off just to see if I could, and I couldn't. So whatever it is, it's on there nice and tight. All right, so let's go on and talk about the important stuff right here, the performance of it, the surface, and actually gaming with it here. Now, talking about that F15, surface here, right? They say they got that really micro tight stitch in and I don't even know if the camera can pick this up, but hot diggity dog, it is seriously tight, like super tight. I can barely even see here. Maybe that's just my old eyes. I'm not sure. They also state it has uniform X and Y tracking as far as the stitching right there. Now we're getting the scientific talk about mouse pads. That's beyond me. So all I can really tell you is as far as my performance when I was gaming with it. All right, so let's go on and talk about my time actually using the mouse pad right here. You all know I love playing a lot of Call of Duty, Rogue Company lately, and been dabbling with a lot of Overwatch lately. So some fairly fast paced games and everything. So let me, let's talk about actually using it here. It's not necessarily like super fast. Like I got F15 service here and what do I come up with? Super fast. All right, so let's kind of touch on that right there and kind of build on it with my experience. Again, talking about it being a little bit of a faster pad, not the fastest by any means, but it is definitely a slick one, you know, much slicker than what I usually use. So for me, it was quite hard to really get those precise control shots right there. You know what I mean? It was a little faster than I personally prefer. Now, the other thing is as far as just the texture, like I rest my arm on my pad usually, and I use a lot of wrist. Every now and then I'll get into some arm, depending on what I gotta do, but usually my, my arm's resting right there. I take my mouse pad, bring it to the side so I don't, I'm not hitting that stitch in, and I just game. And let me tell you what, it's just like, after, I don't know, maybe an hour session, I had this rash right here, and, and it's not like an allergic reaction. It just has a slight rougher texture. And you can clearly catch it, even right here on camera. If I move my hands across it, 
I mean, it's just rough. Mouse across it. It's almost like if I didn't have a headset on, that sound drives me absolutely bananas. It drives me crazy. The only thing I can really bring it back to, I, I reviewed a cord rough fabric, a mouse pad a while back. It, picture that slightly downgraded. And that's exactly where I would put this right here is a quarter, I guess they make up multiple different kinds, but the one I reviewed, quarter of fabric in between SteelSeries QCK, put it in the middle. And I really feel like this is what we have right here. If we put it in between that, the SteelSeries and this guy right here. As far as speed and texture, actually, that's the best example right there. So again, that's probably the number one downfall for me at least, is it is harder, it's rougher of a texture, noisy. I'm no more of a soft, you know, smooth, sensual kind of guy. All right, so last test here, I'd like to test out that water resistance and see what it actually does. Does it ball up and just bubble up or does it absolutely seep through? We also have a nice Paw Patrol towel here to help us out if we need to dab anything up. All right, so here we go. Right here, we'll see what it does. Let's get a little. All right, so is it, it's not going through. Obviously we got rubber on the backside, but is it actually seeping in? Oh yeah, it's seeping in for sure. It definitely seeped in right here. Cause even when I wiped it. So I don't know what, what is that really referring to that it's not gonna affect the texture and the glide like it is clearly you can see right here, it is clearly wet. You see that mark right there? Like even where I wiped it, the water came through. So I'm not too sure what water resistant. Now I'm thirsty though. Mm. Ah, that's good. Whew. Britta, gotta get one. But no, seriously, as far as this, I'm not sure what water resistant means on a mouse pad. I mean, it's a piece of cloth, so it's gonna dry out over time. I guess some don't, I don't know, but the water does get into this guy. All right, so let's get our final thoughts on the Fnatic Dash mouse pad. And number one, what I wanna talk about is the price. And this might be the biggest ouch of the entire thing right here. The extra large size comes in at 55 bucks. The large version, which is pretty much your standard size right there, is gonna come in at $40. And that is just a heavy, price tag for a mouse pad. Again, I'm not a mouse pad connoisseur, but as, but, as, but, as, but as far as mouse pads I use, I use a bunch. I have a bunch. My current favorite is Zero Gravity. Uh, another one of my favorites is the Extra 5 GP1. I absolutely love those mouse pads. But again, that's for me. They suit me. A mouse pad is something that's really almost, I don't want to say as important, but it plays that big of a role into your use as your mouse, if you catch my drift there, you know what I mean? And again, with this one not working out for me, maybe it's gonna work out for you. I don't use many surfaces like this, faster, a little bit harder. So I can't really, I don't really have many recommendations to say other than this, but the one I would probably, you know, if I thought of one that's similar and close is again, SteelSeries QCK, a lot cheaper than this. And to me, it feels quite similar. So again, put those factors into play and if it justifies the price for you, so be it. But again, coming from me, it's one pricey son of a gun. Unless they're sending yoga mats with every order, then it's gonna justify the price. Or even a case of yogurt, I don't know. But hey, please let me know down in the comments. I'm honestly, uh, genuinely curious right here. What is the most you have spent on a mouse pad or what is the most you will spend on a mouse pad. You know, again, I'm just real curious. And again, let's go off extra large size. So let's make sure we go off the big guy, talking this, uh, you know, being 55 bucks or the large being, uh, what I say, 40 bucks. What would be the most you would justify spending on a mouse pad, I guess, you know, off size as well. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the Fnatic Dash mouse pad right here. I hope I answered some questions if you're interested in this mouse pad and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hope to catch you in the next one. But right now, I'm gonna go do a little bit more yoga. Any ideas?